In practice, first-degree price discrimination is almost impossible. Customers usually will not reveal the maximum price they are willing to pay. Let us think about what happens during bargaining. For example, the storeholder at a bazaar will ask the person who is buying, say, for example, yourself, what is the price? What price do you think my necklace costs? What price are you willing to pay for my necklace, for example? And you'll be thinking, of course I won't tell you what price I'm willing to pay for the necklace. I want to buy it as cheaply as possible. So what do you do? You ask the storeholder, what price are you willing to sell it at? What is the lowest price you're willing to sell it at? And you are forcing the storeholder to review um, her information instead. So in essence, nobody is willing to review the price he or she has um, like, um, at the back of their mind, and um, which is their bottom line. So in the end, it is impractical to charge every consumer a different price. An example of first-degree price discrimination is the case of auction sites like eBay, where one reviews the maximum pricing one is willing to pay through bidding. And even then, that is not a, way, a perfect way of revealing the um, maximum price that will, um, he or she is willing to pay. And the eventual price that is paid only approaches the maximum um, estimation of the consumer.